Good morning and welcome to Scholars Academy. Can we please give a big round of applause for our student performers? Thank you to our band, chorus, and cheerleaders for welcoming our guests today. And at this point, you can now escort yourselves off the stage. We're going to begin our information session. Thank you so much. So we'll just give them a minute to exit, and then we're going to pull down our screen to begin our presentation. Okay, thank you once again to our students for welcoming you, um, for entertaining you while you wait. Welcome to the Scholars Academy. We will now begin today's information session. My name is Michelle Smythe, and it is an absolute honor to speak to you today as the principal of this incredible school, the Scholars Academy. Welcome. This is a very popular event 
we did have, we reached full capacity at registration very quickly. So congratulations to those of you who were able to snag this seat today. Um, for those of you who were not able to join us in person, we are live streaming this event right now. So I'd also like to recognize and thank our media team who is making sure our lighting and sound is all working and they are live streaming and recording this event. And for families, even if you're here now, you'll be able to access this if there's any information you wanna look back to that you might have missed. So I'm going to now just let you know what to expect from today's presentation. So following this brief presentation in the, our auditorium, you will be taken on the best part of the visit, which is a tour given by some of our high school student leaders. We will take you through the first floor and second floor. You'll see some highlights of locations within our building. And what's really great about it is this is a regular day of school, so you're actually going to see teaching and learning taking place in our classrooms. At the end of your tour, we're going to ask that you exit either outside of 104th Street, which is our main entrance and exit, or through Seaside Avenue exit, which is how you came in. And we'll ask you to just make sure you leave promptly as we'll beginning our, be beginning our lunch periods. And as I stated, this presentation will be recorded and it is also, will also be posted on our website. So our agenda for today, you already got to see some of our student performers. There are welcome and introductions taking place right now. You'll hear a little bit about Scholars Academy school culture, our academic programs, our enrichment and extracurricular activities, the application process for both middle school and high school seats, and finally, the school tour. Okay, so now we're going to talk a little bit about Scholars Academy. This, what you're looking at right now, is our school's vision and mission statement. But what I wanna make sure everyone is aware of is what makes Scholars Academy so special. We are a relatively young school. We were founded in 2004 by our founding principal, Mr. Brian O'Connell. There was a lack of um, middle schools, successful middle schools in the, on the Rockaway Peninsula. And many parents on the peninsula were leaving to bring their children to school in Brooklyn or on mainland Queens. So under the leadership of the superintendent at the time, Dr. Cashin, the founding principal, Brian O'Connell and, and Dr. Cashin, came up with the idea of starting Scholars Academy as a screened middle school to serve the students on the Rockaway Peninsula as well as for the rest of District 27. 10% of the seats were set aside for students external to District 27. We've remained with that mission in mind, to be a school for high-performing students dedicated to their studies, bringing students from the east side and west side of the peninsula together, as well as mainland Queens, the rest of District 27, and external students as well. Since that time, we have experienced tremendous, tremendous success, despite facing multiple challenges, including Hurricane Sandy, including the recent pandemic, which closed down schools where we pivoted to remote learning. Despite these challenges, we have remained resilient and we have continued to grow and see tremendous success. That success started very early. We started as this screened middle school and the parents who paved the way and the students who paved the way to get started absolutely loved being in this school. They loved it so much that they asked for us to expand and we became a high school for the very first graduating class. We graduated our first high school class in 2011. We now have students who are doctors, lawyers, successful adults. Some of them teach here. Um, so it's been a tremendous, tremendously successful school. We've maintained a graduation rate of 100% since we started, since we were founded. Our students attend sc schools. We were up to 100% being accepted to college. We have 93% of last year's graduating class attending four-year institutions. Our success has also earned us a place on the US News and World Report rankings. We are in the top 20, 20 schools, not percent, but top 20 schools in New York City um, for several years now in a row. So 
We continue to look for this success. We hope that we are welcoming a new class of sixth graders and ninth graders who are committed to staying here, to having success in college and career and beyond. Our academic success is really tremendous, but it doesn't capture what makes Scholars Academy so special. I've been a part of the Scholars Academy for many, many years now, and what I'm most proud of, and what I'm most proud of as principal and work the hardest to maintain, is the culture and the sense of community here at Scholars Academy. I do hope that those of you who are able to be here with us in person today feel the sense of community, feel that we have student voice, student leadership. The students are truly part of everything that we do here. Part of this school culture is grounded in the idea of empathy and equity. We are one of the most diverse schools in New York City. If you look at our geography, we are placed right in the center of the Rockaway Peninsula, and we bring together students from the east and west sides of the peninsula, as well as various neighborhoods in Queens and some external neighborhoods as well. So I'm going to read for you now just a little clip of what is our equity statement. Scholars Academy is one of the most diverse schools in New York City, bringing students of many races, ethnicities, and religions from surrounding neighborhoods to engage together in learning. Our diversity is our strength. This diversity is the very heart of our school community. It makes us smarter, stronger, and more creative. We are a community of learners committed to empathy and resilience. We really do strive to prepare our students to be empathetic global citizens. And their experience here in such a diverse, nurturing school community helps prepare them for the worlds that they will enter once they leave us. It's important that a community has a shared set of values. Our shared set of values here at Scholars Academy is represented by the acronym CHARGE. CHARGE stands for cooperative, hardworking and honest, amiable, respectful, grit and growth mindset, and empathy and equity. This is something that we all work together to instill in our students and continue to nurture and grow throughout all the years that they spend here. We look to celebrate our students when they exhibit these charge qualities, and one of the ways we do so is through our outstanding scholars assemblies. We have five per year where students from each homeroom are selected to earn this honor based on how they've demonstrated charge throughout their days. We also have other celebrations for our students' tremendous success, including honor society, commencement ceremonies, graduation dances. We have a really fun spirit week in our high school. We have family steam nights, a board walkathon, concerts and art shows, cultural celebrations, computer science for all week. This is just to name a few. You can see our school spirit through our athletics program, which you'll hear more about shortly. But you can see the strong community that we have. We were the B division champions for PSAL boys basketball last year. This was very exciting. You'll see our mascot, the Seawolf, walking around today, who led the whole school in a pep rally to celebrate this accomplishment. Each year we have our board walkathon, where we go out to bring our Seawolf spirit to the entire community walking up and down the boardwalk. Last year it was great. It was timed with the opening um, of the beaches. So there was another event going on on the boardwalk. So we have our cheerleaders, our band, and we get to celebrate um, our strong community sense of spirit. We do spend time each and every day and then through various events to develop students' social emotional learning. Um, this is through class discussions, special school events. We support students in forming new friendships through advisory activities. We have an incredible team of counselors, and even more incredible is our students who are GLOW mentors. Our juniors and seniors can apply to become GLOW mentors. They then serve um, to plan advisory activities. They go into the middle school homerooms, and they help to mentor our students and support them with making positive connections. It's one of the strongest programs that we have here and a tremendous opportunity for students to develop leadership skills. 
Another way in which we celebrate our community and prepare our students for success, for particularly college and career awareness, um, is through our incredible college office. We have had tremendous success. Um, our class of 2023 earned over $9.8 million in scholarships. Students attended CUNY Macaulay Honors, Columbia University, Cornell University, the University of Pennsylvania. We actually had a record. We sent four students to UPenn. Um, we've never had numbers quite like that before. Cooper Union, the US Naval Academy, and Carnegie Mellon. And that's just to name a few highlights. We prepare students throughout their time here for this process by engaging them in college tours, special college nights with family members as well. We have an annual college fair, and we encourage underclassmen to attend that. One of the best events we also have is our alumni day. Our alumni, as I stated before, are all now tremendously successful. So we bring back our alumni who are currently in college as well as alumni who are currently in careers. And they come in to speak to our students about their journey, about how scholars prepared them to offer their life advice. And I think it also speaks to what a strong community we have, that we have so many students willing to come back um, and still be part of our community. They come for games um, and for other events just to continue to support the school. So I am now going to pass it over to one of our amazing high school student leaders, Surya, who will speak to you about the Scholars Academy academic programs. And thank you so much again for joining us. I hope you enjoy the rest of the session and your tours. Good morning, once again, everyone. So here, Scholars Academy is an accelerated school. So due to that, middle school students will end up graduating with six high school credits, and high school graduates from our school will end up, can end up with as much as 27 college credits. Students can earn college credits either through the advanced placement exams or our partnership with St. Francis College. So here we have the academic coursework progression for grades six, seventh, and eight. This is for all of middle school, and our expectations for the middle school is that students work their best to maintain an average of 85% or higher, and that they earn a 95% or higher attendance rate, complete assignments and projects on time, and work collab collaboratively and cooperatively within groups. Students also in grade eight have the chance to take regents level courses, including algebra, living environment, and humanities, I believe, actually. So now we're moving on to the high school coursework progression for grades nine, 10, 11, and 12. And students will actually have the chance to start taking AP courses in grade 10, which is an amazing opportunity to earn college credit. Most of the Regents coursework will end in 10th grade with the exception of global history in 11th grade. Here we have all our advanced placement and St. Francis College courses that result in college credits for the high school students. Some of the AP courses which I have taken so far include AP Chemistry. Okay. Some of the AP courses I have taken include AP Chemistry, AP Physics C, AP Calculus A, B, and B, C, and AP Computer Science A in Principles. I've taken some more, but those are just some to list a few. The teachers here are great, and Advanced Placement courses and St. Francis College courses are a great opportunity to earn college credit. So next, we'll have a faith to do extracurricular activities. So just give it a round of applause. Good morning. Um, I'm Faith, and I'll talk about the extracurriculars here offered at Scholars. So Scholars has a lot of opportunities where you can either start your own club or join many clubs. 
Um, it's really easy to start a club. You just need to find an advisor and like 15 students, and we have a lot of students here in middle school, so it'll be easy to find someone that have the same interests as you. Um, here in that top right corner, we have club fairs, um, usually in the first semester of school, so kids can find what they like. Um, we have Spirit Week, which is an activity that a lot of kids are involved with, but that's only in high school. And then we have STEAM Night, is a lot of extracurriculars that you can join. These are just, these are just a few clubs that we offer here, but there are many more. We have academic-based clubs like chem club, math club, um, gardening team, green team. Um, then we also have um, clubs started by students like medical club. I'm the president of medical club, and we started that ourselves. Key, um, debate club is another club that got started them. And we also have my brother's keeper and sister. That's a chapter here at Scholars. Um, and that's really important, student government. And a lot of these clubs, um, a lot of these clubs are, we're trying to get them offered um, to all high school students. And some of these clubs are middle school, like cheer, that you saw performing, band and chorus. Those are middle school clubs too. So if you're interested in that. Um, and for our athletics, middle school offers volleyball, cheerleading, soccer, boys basketball, and girls basketball. We have the high school counterparts, but middle school are, are now able to participate in these sports. Um, currently, right now, we're in volleyball season for middle school. So we, and that's our middle school volleyball team, coached by Mr. Paulina. He is the seventh grade science teacher. So that's really fun. And now I have Nelson, who is part of the two-time championship boys basketball team. Give it up for Nelson. Thank you, Faith. Good morning, everybody. Um, so for our PSAL high school sports, during the fall season, we have girls soccer, cross country, volleyball, bowling, and tennis. And currently, right now, we're in our winter season. We have girls basketball, boys basketball, uh, co-ed cheer, and co-ed swimming. And then for our spring season, we have girls varsity softball, boys varsity baseball, co-ed golf, girls JV soccer, and co-ed stunt. Thank you. Uh, and lastly, we have uh, Lauren Schwach. Thank you. Thank you, Nelson. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm going to share with you some additional information. So this is our bell schedule at Scholars. It differs for middle school, sorry, differs for middle school and high school. Grades 6, 7, and 8 start at 8 a.m. every day, um, with the exception of Friday. So we also start at 8 a.m., but we get out early uh, Friday at 1.10. And then for high school Friday, we get out at 12.15, and high school starts at, at 8.45. And students can enter the building at 7.30. So this is our um, scholar's dress code. It's a little different for middle school and high school. Um, so for middle school, it's a light blue collared solid shirt with the Scholars Academy logo. Um, high school, it's the same thing except it's dark blue. Um, we also have the option for khaki or uh, navy pants. And then uh, physical education uniform is sweatpants, shorts, t-shirts, sweatshirts with the athletic logo, as you see on the screen. But most students just opt to wear the gym uniform most of the time because it's more comfortable. Um, so this is transportation. Um, the Office of People Transportation provides free yellow busing to sixth grade students that live more than a mile from the school, but less than five miles. Um, students who do not qualify for yellow busing and live more than 0.5 miles from the school may be eligible to receive an MTA card or use public transportation. There is curbside busing available for students Monday through Thursday at 2.45 and 3.35. The curbside buses available are the MTA Q21 to Woodhaven and the MTA Q22 to Far Rockaway and Roxbury. And the MTA Q53 is available for students on Rockaway Beach Boulevard. Um, at Scholars, we have a variety of 504 accommodations that are available for students with IEPs. There's some on the screen, I'll name a few, including small group classes, counseling, speech therapy, physical therapy, hearing and vision support, and assistive technology and testing accommodations. And I'm not sure who's coming up next. Ms. Vieira is going to tell you about the application process. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. 
Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you to our student leaders. Um, I'm going to talk to you about the application process for grade six and grade nine. My name is Mrs. Vieira and I'm one of the assistant principals. Um, I'd like to welcome our high school tour guides are entering at this time too. So please feel free, come on in, line up, and we're getting, they're getting ready for the next part, which is your school building tour. So for application to Scholars Academy for grade six, this is through the middle school application on My Schools. You can apply to Scholars Academy directly through the My Schools website. This slideshow will be posted on scholarsmyc.com. We've linked the website in the slides to help you. The application closes on Friday, December 8th. So there's a few more weeks for that. Scholars Academy is following a middle school screened admissions process for September 2024. So what does that mean? Um, the New York City Department of Education will match students to scholars grade six based off of um, their grade four final report card grades in English, math, science, and social studies. And even though there may have been in years prior, there is no current sibling priority for any middle school screened admissions. So these are decisions made through the New York City Department of Education for all New York City middle schools with screened admissions. If you need any assistance completing the My Schools application, it is advised that each family contacts their current school counselor. Um, and we do want to be helpful, so we've linked several resources at the bottom of the slide. So there's our website, our admissions website. We have an admissions, um, New York City DOE admissions video, the Scholars My School directory page, and the My Schools website. For applying to Scholars Academy for grade nine, um, the application is currently open. It will close on Friday, December 1st. So that's a big difference from middle school. It's a week earlier, so make sure you put that on your calendar. Scholars Academy High School is following a screened admissions process for September 2024. Current eighth grade Seawolves, so current eighth grade Scholars Academy students are provided with priority based on the application ranking. Remaining applicants from outside middle schools are considered and are placed in a priority group based on averages of their final seventh grade core course grades. Um, core courses are the same as I mentioned for sixth grade, math, science, English, history. And same thing for high school admissions, there's no sibling priority for screened high schools in the DOE. Um, we have linked a few resources for you on this slide as well for application to grade nine. Um, it is advised if a family requires assistance, if you attend a private school, you can always um, reach out to any of the family welcome centers to help you with the admissions um, and my schools if your private school counselor is not used to the public school application. Um, and now it is time for our school tours. So we are touring the first and the second floors today. We have our amazing high school student leaders around the room that will lead a tour of families. We ask, um, let's, we're going to review some of these norms for the tours and we ask for your cooperation in them. If anyone needs to use the restroom, that you coordinate that with your tour leader, and we're only using the first floor restrooms um, that are designated for our guests. Please do not use restrooms on any other floor because those are designated for students. Um, this entire event is being recorded by our amazing media team, photos and videos, and they will all be posted on our website for you to refer to. Guests may not take out their phones and take photos or videos on your own. So please comply with this. Thank you. Um, we need to make sure for the safety of everyone that guests remain with their tour group at all times. So please just be attentive of where the tour leader is leading you and do not stray away to another location. 
We ask um, our teachers to open up all the classroom doors while teaching and learning are taking place and that the classroom lights are on. So the idea is you're looking into the classrooms, but we're not entering the classrooms. Um, if traffic is flowing well, thank you, Mr. Racinos, there is a nice surprise that we will be able to travel into the media studio. Other than that, um, that's the only space that we're going to enter. Um, we really hope that this is enjoyable for you, that it is informative, and it provides you with a glimpse of what it is like to be a Seawolf student and a Seawolf family. Um, at this time, Mr. Racinos, can we raise the lights a little bit? Thank you. Um, so we're go we have... We're going to wait. Um, right now, we're in period two. We're going to wait for the bell to ring for our students to move from period two to period three classes, and then we will begin the tours. Um, for any families coming in now, please have a seat. Thank you so much for our students helping them. And do we have any of our students that are able to provide the tours in different languages? Would you like to come up here and introduce yourself? and the language you're able to offer. Hi guys, my name is Rami Kaur and I'm able to offer Punjabi today. Hola, mi nombre es Angelina y puedo ofrecer en español. Hola, mi nombre es Kaira y hablo español. Marhaban, es mi Aziza en la árabe. Hola, mi nombre es Ariana y puedo hablar español. Hola, soy Isabela y puedo hablar español. Hola, mi nombre es Alisa y puedo hablar en español. Assalamu alaikum, I'm my name Fahima and I can speak Bengali. Hola, me llamo Sara y hablo español. Assalamu alaikum, I'm my name Nabiha y Bangla Bultabari. Thank you so much. Um, at the check-in counter this, this year, for registration purposes, we had labels of any family and if they required assistance or translation services. Um, so if there were any families that notified the front table at that, you were given a, a little ticket with the name of that language, and then we will coordinate the tour. At this time, um, I was informed that there were no families that requested different languages. However, it's not too late. So when um, our staff come in to help deploy the families and the tour guides, we can most definitely arrange that. So we're going to wait a few moments until we transition to period three classes, and then we will start our tours. Thank you.